Right, welcome back to Spitting Your Dripper Reviews, and today we're doing an e juice review on a company called Fetish Gourmet Elixirs. Now, we have, if you want to add these guys up, you can go to www.fetishgourmetelixirs.weebly.com. That's W E E B L Y for weebly.com. Um, now, the VG PG is anything up to 85 VG, as flavourings are PG based. Uh, the nicotine is anything from zero right through to 20, which I think is a good thing. So you can get zero nicotine and then go all the way right through to a 20 milligram. So that's a, a really, really good option for people that are obviously getting off the stinkies and starting on the high nicotines, as well as people that have been on vaping for a while and they're cutting down on the nicotines. Um, all juices are sent recorded delivery and the bottle size are 10 mil, 30 mil, 50 mil and 100 mil. Um, you can add these up on Facebook and Instagram. If we'd like to big up Heidi Heisenberg, she's the MD. Um, you can catch her on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram as well. We met her down at Expo, real lovely people, lovely family business. And they're all really outgoing and, and really nice to meet them and talk really well about their juices. Um, now you, the 10 mil are £3.60, the 30 mil are 9.95, the 50 mil are £14 and the 100 mil are £26.50. Um, now you can get three times ten mil for nine pound, or three times thirty mil for twenty four pound, three times fifty mil for thirty six pound, or three times a hundred mil for seventy pound, and all prices include VAT. And the flavours that we're going to be doing, and what I'll do is I'll give you the actual rundown of the flavours and the profiles right now, but we will mention them again as we go over and vape on them. Now we're going to be doing blue slush, which is obviously a blue slush puppy. Then we're going to be doing red slush, which is strawberry slushy. Then we've got slubble, which is bubblegum slushy. Then Blue Devil, which is absinthe, blueberries and menthol. Then Heisenberry, a pretty blue juice with raspberries. Then Peaches and Cream, which obviously is Peaches and Cream. Um, then Compulsion, which is sweet, gooey, strawberry, marshmallow, cheesecake. Then we're doing Devilish Purple, a sweet devil of your choosing. Um, and then we're doing Paranoia, which is Guava and Strawberry Rockstar. And then finally, Satan Snot, which is Pineapple and Lemon Monster. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a vape up on these and like I said to you before we're going to go through the flavour profiles again as we do. We're going to talk to you about the logos, we're going to show you in and around the bottles and we're going to see if they do what they say on the tin as of flavour wise and also we're going to be checking out the clouds. So catch us back in a minute. Right, welcome back to Spearing Your Drip Reviews and like we said to you before this is Fetish Gourmet Elixirs. Um, big up to ID Eisenberg for sorting these out to us at Expo. Um, we're going to be starting on the right hand side moving over to the left which is your left hand side moving over to your right. And uh, the first ones that we're going to be starting with, if you want to show them in and around the logo, and I'll leave it a little read out. And this one's called Blue Slush. And this is a Blue Slush Puppy. Really nice logos on the bottles. Love that little red tint on the bottle as well, on the glaze. And you can still see your juice through the glass. That's, that's important. Which, which as is we always important. pull exactly. up on. I mean, it's nice so, yeah. to be able to see your level of juice. I mean, definitely. You can still have a nice frosty So, yeah, bottle. if you want to uh, have a vape up on this one, and let's get started and have a taste and see if this one does what it says on the tin. Now, this one's a blue slush, like we said to you, which is a blue raspberry slush. So, yeah, let's see if this one does what it says on the tin. Yeah. It's a blue slash here. Nice. Yeah. That's cool. That's what we want. That's definitely what we want. The nice blue slushy. It smells nice. And there's no menthol to it, but on the exhale you're getting like a, a little cool larder kick nice. to it, but not on the inhale. That's good. As you'll see. But yeah, I mean I do like the blue yeah, slushy. Not so much a lover of it with the menthol hitting it, but without as that one is, that's nice. That's that is Yeah, I see what you mean now. It's got that nice, and it's not even a lot of cool lard. It's just a little tickle. Just just a little, little, yeah, that's it. Just a little tickle. It's really nice. But the blue slush is bang on point. It's right up there with all the good blue slushies that you mm. know and love. Um, if you're into your blue slushies, this is definitely one to check out. And I love the way she's just tapped in that little bit of cool lard just to give it a little bit of cold feeling, like straight out of the fridge. Really nice. Like this one. So yeah, we'll move on to the next. So let's do your nice cloud on this as well. As you can see, absolute clouds for weeks. Lovely, lovely clouds. Real nice. That that cool out is not even hitting the chest. It's smooth in, smooth out. The nicotine's very smooth. Well, I mean, we've got these in a free, and it's it's very nice, very smooth. Does what it says on the tin, and it literally mm. does for the flavour wise as well. So yeah, should we move on to the next one yeah. called Red Slush? Before we do, I just want to say, I mean, you know, you're governed with a lot of firms. You know, 60, 40, 70, 30s, etc. Uh huh. 
But ID will do you anything up to 85 VG. Which is so good. Anything you want, you give them a call, message them. If you wanted 63 and a half VG, she'll do it. It's, it's like you know, with, with a nicotine range as well of anything you want between zero and 20. Another good thing. So, but yeah, the next one we're doing is... Strawberry slush. Red and slush. And this is a red slush, yeah. Same again, nice little frosted bottles, but still being able to see the juice, I like that. It's okay, it's not as good as the blue slush. I'm going to give it, it's like, when blue slush did that to me, it was really nice. This one's like, got that strawberry sweet in there, you know, like you get, like, you've got your strawberry ripe and your strawberry sweet. This one's got that strawberry sweet. But I'm getting a bit of a, a dry ending, like a bit of a powdery dry end on the end okay. of it. Um, I don't know, I think it's not quite as pushed in the sugars as, as the blueberry slush is. And it hasn't got that cool ardour again at the end. So, um, I don't know, well, it's got a little bit of a, a, a feel to it. But, I don't know, it just it just lacks a little bit less than what the... I mean, the blue slush is way, way up there with the good ones. Mm. The red slush, I don't know. I mean, it's different. It's it's it's, it's definitely different. What do you it's think? It's nice, about? but it's not what I was expecting. No. Considering the blue slush was a blue slush. Exactly. But yeah, it's getting a little bit as, of a dry ending, like you yeah, say as well. Yeah, it's not quite as nice as in the mm. sugars, is it, department? But yeah, it's still it's still a nice strawberry. Like you got that strawberry laces-y sweet type vape there. Um, you got that nice sort of slushy feel, mm. but then it fades very quickly and takes your mind off that it's a slushy and gives it more of a powdery strawberry sweet finish yeah that's all really it's, it's different but uh, it's still it's still not too bad um, and then we're going to be moving on to the next one which is called Slubble which is a bubblegum slushy this time so yeah we're looking forward to trying this one as I'm a bubblegum man I, I quite like Here a bubblegum bike yeah I've been looking forward to this one as well I mean this is a 70-30 this one mmm mmm that's nice the bottle smells like, you know them bubble gums you get at the bottom of a screwball ice cream? Mm. That's what it smells like. It tastes like that, but without the mint and without the menthols. It's got a nice kick to it. It's very fruity. Um, not florally either. It's got that, I don't know, like a chemical explosion going on. It's very nice. I like that. You know, it's, a, it's a good vape. Definitely, definitely another one of my favourites. I like this one. Wow. The bubble gum comes through very juicy. Mm. Um, very sugary, but not in an off-putting way, and not done with sweetness. It's very clean. I think it's a good one. I mean, I, I like bubble gum anyway, but I yeah. do. I do try a lot of bubble gum. So to find a bubble gum that I like, I mean, I find a lot that are crud. But this is a real nice I know, one. I found do that one a little harsh, flavour-wise. Did you? Amazing. I thought that was fine. Yeah. It may be because we're on the Mac though. Yeah. We have switched, and I've just recharged the battery on that, so that is hitting like I mean, a train. Yeah, that is. I mean, that does hit anyway. It yeah. does hit like but a train. But flavour is, it is that. Bubble gum out of the ice cream, mm. yeah. And I'm left with that nice fruity, punchy bubble mm. gum going on. It's really, I like that one. I think it's a nice one. So, yeah, we'll move on to the next one called Blue Devil. Uh, and this one's <laughs> not really up our street, but we're going to do, do the review as if it was up our street. So, this one is an absinthe with blueberries and menthol. So, there's two flavours in there that we don't like and one that we do. I mean, we love the blueberries, but the absinthe and the menthol, but. We're going to, again, come in as if we do like menthol and give it its honest review. So, uh, shall I start this one? Yeah, feel free. <laughs> <laughs> what he's doing is just like a big up bad cop as well. He's not well today. Yeah, um, big up bad cop. Get well get soon, well bro. Soon, mate. Gone in deep, bro, haven't you? I want to taste it properly. I can smell the absinthe. <laughs> I mean the menthol, I'm gonna be honest, the menthol's very calming, very smooth, it's not bad. But the absinthe took me to a whole nother perno. You know the alcohol spirit called perno? If you smell in that bottle, that is what it tastes like. So if you like perno, get on this vape. If you don't like perno, avoid this vape. That's all I'm saying about this I mean, vape. I mean the menthol it's, is very smooth. There's it's not... lovely, it's a clean menthol, mm. it's a clean blueberry. Um, but it gets hidden by that absinthe, yeah. and that is why I just consider it as a perno vape. If you like that perno feel, that aniseed taste, shoot, it's all day long. All yeah. day you, and it really is a nice clean absinthe. It's not. A, I mean, I've had some really dirty absinthe, but this one's really clean. It's. It's again. I'm. I'm not a lover of absinthe, but it's not that bad. Um, but it's. I'm not a fan of perno, so you know. But if you do, that one's then definitely you. Yeah, same. Right, next one 
is uh, obviously a, a legendary vape that she's well known for, which is uh, Heisenberry. Um, and this is again made by Heidi Heisenberg. And this is a pretty blue juice with raspberries. Go on, so yeah, if you want to start this one, I'll show them around the bowl. Real nice logos, I love these. Big, big thumbs up to Heidi as well. Big love to you, girl. Big love to the family as well. I mean, even the whole family was so helpful, weren't they? Oh, they were lovely. We spent ages with them. Having some giggles with them and blowing clouds. Yeah. And, you know, they're even in our expo video. If you watch our expo video on the actual, you know, the expo itself, our coverage. I mean, they're even in that. Mm. And, and, and we had some real amazing fun. We was blowing clouds with Heidi and the family and stuff. They're, they're such a lovely, you know, such a lovely outgoing people that you really must go and contact them and, and check out some of their flavours. But I'm going to shut up now and I'm going to let Big, Bigger Cop talk about this one while I go in with a vape and uh, you let us know what you've got from the start to finish on this if you don't mind Phil. No, what I like it. I do. Because there's no menthol hit in this one. And I think that's the difference. A lot of them, mm. and, yeah. He's nice. When you get them Heisenbergs, they're menthol. You know, but this is Heisenberry. There's no menthol in here. You're getting a nice fruity, you can taste them oh. raspberries. Mm. And I think that's what makes it nice. With like a, like a blueberry. That must be what the pretty blue is like. Yeah. So I know you've got blue raspberries, but it might be blue raspberry, but it's got a little bit of a, oh, that sweetie from the blueberry yeah. that you get from blueberries. And perhaps that might be the, she's found a good blue raspberry mm. concentrate, but this is working really well. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> I've had another one. Yeah, why not? You enjoy it. Really nice. I mean, do check that one out. That's a really nice, clean, if you like your like your, your Heisenbergs, but you, you didn't really like the menthol sides of them or you didn't really like the, the, the weirdness that it creates at, at, at that point when the Heisenberg kicks in. Well, this is called Heisenberry. And this is much more berrier, fruity. If you're that fruity, punchy person, do check this one out. It's Definitely. really nice, honestly. What we're going to do now, because we've got more flavours to do, is we're going to pause up, we're going to re-wick up, we're going to come back when we've re-wicked up and we're going to do some more flavours from them. I think we've got one, two, three, four, five more. So we've got another five to come. So we're going to re-wick up now, we're going to come back and we're going to do another five flavours from this company. Don't go nowhere, catch us back in a minute. Right, welcome back on the other side and like we said to you before, we're back with the next five flavours from Fetish Gourmet Elixirs. Big up to Heidi Eisenberg again. I know we keep saying it but we love the family, real nice people and we're going to start with the next one in the range. And this one is peaches and cream and obviously it says it all. Um, do you want me to show me in the radio yeah. logos where you have a vape up on this one? Let's quickly show you this. Real nice looker. Does exactly these are the, it these are the little team. plastic bottles that they do as well. But yeah, let's have a smell of this one. Oh, that does smell nice. Mm. What's it vape like? Let's have an inkling. What's the sugar? That's what I want to know, whether the sugars do what they say. Because sometimes little, it's hard to sugar this. There's not a major sugar lip to it. But you are getting that lovely peaches and nice, creamy nice. flavour, and then what you're left with is that lovely peach taste afterwards. The cream fades out, and then you're left with peach. Mmm. Oh, well, that really is nice. It's a good peach as well, a fresh peach. Mm. And the cream's there, it's nice. Yeah. I mean, it's not overpowering. I mean, I've had some really ones that go cream. Yeah. But this one's just nice. It just sits there like a like it lets you know I'm here, but mm. it don't steal the vape from the peach. And this I like is, that. Yeah. I like the way it allows the peach to do it. So even now, I'm tasting like I'm just li literally talking and cutting slices of peaches and going, it's so nice. Mm. Really, I really like that one. Yep, definitely got the thumbs up from me, that one. Right, next one. It's Compulsion. Ooh, sweet gooey <laughs> strawberry <laughs> marshmallow <laughs> cheesecake. <laughs> now, when I was talking to Heidi at Expo, and I said, this like, obviously, flesh, I am the strawberry dude. Oh. And uh, yeah, she hooked me up with a couple of bottles of this. Mm. And so, it's naughty. you know, they, they've been and gone now. But <laughs> <laughs> I did enjoy doing this one. This is a nice one. I enjoy it. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, I can even get that sort of creamy milkiness that's coming from it as well, from that marshmallow. But what's different cake. is adding a bit of marshmallow to a cheesecake. It gives it that milkier, mm. creamier boost to, mm. the, to the cheesecake. It's really I mean, nice. there's lots of strawberry cheesecakes out there. A lot of good ones. 
and some bad ones as well. But adding the marshmallow takes it a different. Wow, look at them clouds. Takes it to a different level, doesn't it? With this the is marshmallow. Nice. I'll have to agree with you on this one. It's really clean. It starts with a, a really like it says a gooey type strawberry, that then kicks in with this nice cheesecake that's been pushed with extra creaminess from the marshmallow, and I like that. That gives it that boost of it, it comes in, and then you know when you get a marshmallow off the campfire, and it's different to having a normal marshmallow. It gives it that more creamy. This is what it feels like. Like they've heated the marshmallow, and then put it into it, and it's oh, mm. it's really nice. No, oh, I've missed this one. <laughs> <laughs> Again, you can get these in 10, 30, 50 and 100 mil bottles and they do 3 times 10 mil for £9, 3 times 30 mil for 24 3 times 50 for 36 and 3 times 100 mil for £70. All prices include VAT. Yeah, not that. It's nice to have a UK company as well. We exactly. do a lot of American companies. And she does so many flavours and I'm, I'm talking loads. a lot of flavours. They do a lot. So do you, like, I know some companies you get lost in them and you think, well... You know, it's a lot to choose from and I don't know where to go. So this is why we're here to try and help you. We're trying to, you know, I mean, we're not always going to be right because everyone's got their own path and their own their own actual palette. But generally, like we talk about, if you like the stuff he likes or I like the stuff I like or what Bad Cop likes, this is what you follow. And this is why we're here to try and get these in front of you guys and girls mm. and give them a little vape up and give them their little sort of degree of markings. And you can see that from our face when we go through some really amazing ones. So... But again, she's got so many more in the range that, you know, you, you're never going to be sort of, you know, you might find, a, I mean, every company you're going to find a couple you don't like, but I guarantee you there's going to be a few there that you really do like, yeah. so that's a good thing. Rather than, know oh, this company's brought out two juice and both of them are crud, then what are you going to do? See, so at least this way she's given more got options. such a range such that a, there's going to be such something an array, there for everyone. You know, definitely yeah. something there, more than one or two there for everyone, this is what I'm talking about. So yeah, we'll move on to the next one, and this one's called Devilish. Uh, devilishy purple. Mm. So yeah, well, I can go in if you want. Go on, I've smelled the bottle, and I don't think this is up my street somehow. <laughs> you know, but that's uh. personal opinion, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> Ooh, I had to hold that one. Anyway, I'm going to have just the one on that one. Same here. But this is more of a. Again, it's got that absinthe, it's got that stronger menthol in this one, much stronger, much of a chest hit. A um, little bit of the berry fruit going on at the end, but to me, this is more about that absinthe again. Yeah, it's got that. The aniseed -y And this is, again, why we're really not a fan of it, is because purely it stills the weight of everything else. Like you can hardly tell anything else going around it because it's such a, a powerful type of concentrate and and this is why it's like you know it's it's, a, it's a, like a marmite to us you either love it or you hate it and unfortunately we hate it but we do like to give it its review as a nice reviewer so what i am going to say about it is the absinthe's not quite as strong as the other absinthe that we did earlier from this range but the menthol in this one's four or five times stronger than the menthol in the other yeah, you're one getting that, that chesty hit this one's this got one. the chest yeah. hit then it follows by that little menthol kick so it's down to you again if you like that extra strong burst of menthol with your little bit of absinthe then this one's definitely you definitely do check this one out and the next one we're going to be moving on to is called paranoia and this one's a guava and strawberry rock star mm. i'm just going to show you them in around this bottle now i mean pretty much they're all the same just different name at the bottom here i really i mean look at them really, i love that red glazing on the bottle as well nice good child safety caps she looks after you know it's a good it's a good company they're not just you know palming you off with quick quick stuff it's really she's she's gone in there and manifested these flavors to our different types of vapors like different types of vape mm. and that I again like that one. and that again is switching back to what we were talking about, about <coughs> how she has so many in a range you're going to be sorted I'm liking what you're getting you're getting that guava and strawberry then you get this tiny little sugar lip as well nice nice that's what I like. Which I wasn't like expecting, little, yeah. You get yeah. that sugar lip thrown but, in. But me and, me and Bigger and Bad Cop, we like sugar bursts that come from the actual natural flavours of the juice. I'm not really into the sweetness because you can tell that burns your coils. It gives a lot of blacking on your coils. At later dates, you end up sort of, you know, when, you, when you've had a day or two vaping on it, you end up looking at your coat and they're terrible where they're coated in too much sugars and sucrose. Mm. 
but you know this company's not doing that they're using like real nice flavors that give the sugar burst from their concentrates yeah like you're that. getting your sugar lip from the guava and the strawberry that's what you're getting on this one which is nice oh that's different yeah. no one it mm. oh you know it reminds me of when you buy them new chocolate boosts that they come with the guava in when i first had one of them it had this sort of almost limey type fruit which the guava has that sort of weirdy type chemically limey type fruit flavor um, and this here is now doing the same thing it's giving me that chemical burst that we actually like we look for that mid vape where it explodes and you go mm. oh wow what's going on and that's what this does and it's really nice getting, it, isn't it? yeah. it's really nice that one's called paranoia and that's a guava and strawberry rock star which is lovely yeah huh? very nice I like that one the guava's clean Again, the actual strawberries there, it's all fresh and, and in your face. They both mix together, mid midpoint in the vape, and that's what causes that vape explosion of a chemical niceness. It's mm. really nice. I really And the sugars are lovely. Yeah. Finished with perfect amount. Yeah, Not lovely. too much. It ends right at the right amount of time. Perfect. And really as you've good said, because you're getting your natural sugars, it's not going to kill your coils either. No, that's a really good one. sweeteners man. and so mm -hmm. forth. Love that. And I'm looking forward to this one, um, and I know Bad Cop's like, when he gets well and he's going to want to taste this one because he's, he loves a bit of pineapple, but this one's a good concoction. Mm. This one's called Satan Snot, and this one's a pineapple and lemon monster. I mean, I've never tasted monsters before, but I'd like to taste we'll the lemon go. monster. Yeah, we'll give it a go. <laughs> but I mean, the, the actual, listen, let's go back to and, and, and be serious. The actual profile on this does really, I mean, you know, like pineapple and lemon. Mm. Yeah. But smelling the bottle... Together. It didn't really smell of them pineapple and lemons that I was looking for, so hopefully it's a different type and we're going to be tasting that now and going straight in, so. Have a smell of that bottle, see what? It's clean. The pineapple's very nice. And the lemon, in fact, doesn't come through too much because obviously the pineapple's sharp. What it actually does is it pushes the sugar more. Right. And it's really nice. Because a pineapple can be overpowering, can't it, as well, and take every other flavour out of the game. It's really nice, really clean, really juicy, like a fruity juicy, and it's making me keep gasping from that, you know, like when you, your mouth's watering from all the sugars. That's what this one's doing, it's really nice. Well done, Heidi. Really like this one. Oh, yeah. You see mm. how it, that lemon goes mm. push, and then, yeah. but it doesn't tell you it's a lemon. If it, I mean, if I hadn't read it, on the actual thing, I don't think I would have guessed that was a lemon because it hides behind the pineapple, but enhances as mm. a sugar, and then it isn't right until like now when you stop, you think, oh yeah, lemon. There it is. Yeah. You see, so it wouldn't have been until then that I really probably wouldn't have even spotted mm. the lemon, mm. but it does work in a good way. As she's done it, it manifests with the other one and creates yeah. this lovely, lovely vape. So uh, yeah, I mean, before we move on, let's just quickly. I know we've got 10 flavours out in front of us to choose, but let's just choose one each that we really adored out of this range, and then what we'll do is we'll wrap it up, tell them where they can subscribe to us and stuff like that. So first of all, let's start with you, and let's go through. I know you love your, your, your compulsion and your sweet strawberries, but mm. was there any others that you really liked? Well, the compulsion's the one, but I like the hyson berry. It was nice. Because I don't know if I was expecting, because it's hyson, you're expecting that hyson berg, and I'm not looking forward no. to it. But then there's no menthol in there, and then and there's this burst oh, of berries, which really done it, it for really me. It really is nice. So yeah, I mean compulsion, love it. There's no ifs or buts. Big but thumbs up for that one. I think I'm gonna have to say the heisenberry out of the others. Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, definitely. And again, I'll have to agree with you. I think heisenberry's got that. You know, as well as Satan Snot, I think them two really sort of, you know, stunned me in a way and took me to a whole other level of, of a different type of vape. You know, and and, and because. I mean, when you look at them and you think, yeah, pineapple and lemon, you expect to just taste pineapple, but she's mm. done it in a different way. So perhaps she's looked around and, and thought, no, I'm going to go with this concentrate because it's slightly weaker or it's got that way of pushing sugar or that. And she's done her homework well because when they connect, wow, it really did something. So, yeah. uh, you know, if I had to choose just the one, I'd go with a hyson berry. But if I got to choose two, I'd go with a Satan snot as well. So there's our rundown, and they're really, really nice flavours, really liked them. Big up to Heidi again and to the family. Don't forget to subscribe to us, that's the main thing. And don't forget to click the like button as well. Um, also add us up on YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, as well as Facebook. Tell all your friends about us, and catch us back next time on Spitting Your Triple Reviews.